Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API Recommended Practice 572 Inspection Practices for Pressure Vessels. In this lecture, we will discuss the inspection plans. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 6 as well as reviews of some of the important subclauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the subclauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in clause 6 accompanied by the subclauses. The primary goal of the plan is to organize inspections and supporting activities that enable the owner to assess the condition of the pressure vessel. Complete inspection plans for pressure vessels should include the inspection interval or next date, the type of inspection that should be performed, and the portion of the equipment to which the inspection should be applied. Inspection for specific types of damage Active damage mechanisms and rates of damage will vary markedly depending on the process stream and its contaminants or corrodent levels, temperature of exposure, and materials of construction. Inspectors can utilize multiple NDE techniques and technologies in the inspection and evaluation of pressure vessels. Inspectors should consider the types of active damage mechanisms and corresponding damage modes active in the pressure vessel to determine the best techniques to use during the inspection process. The inspector should consider all parameters in determining the applicability of a technique and its ability to produce accurate results. APIRP 571 provides detailed guidance in evaluating damage mechanisms. Developing inspection plans a service history record should be established after the first inspection by on-stream methods or internal examination. Identifying and understanding all potential damage mechanisms that can cause deterioration of a pressure vessel is key in developing an effective inspection plan. Integrity Operating Windows IOWs, should be developed in accordance with APIRP 584 and operating conditions monitored to assure these operating windows are not exceeded. Selecting appropriate inspection locations for equipment subject to localized damage is as critical as applying the appropriate technique. When changes in process operations are implemented, they should be reviewed to determine whether they might affect the damage rate or provide new damage mechanisms. When a change in the damage rate occurs or is anticipated, T. He recommended inspection interval should be changed accordingly. Visual checks of the external parts of a vessel should be made periodically. Finally, the list of techniques identified for the pressure boundary should be compared against internal or process-based inspection and maintenance requirements to ensure all areas of the vessel are assessed as needed.
Reviewing and updating inspection plans Inspection plans should be reviewed and updated, as necessary, under the following circumstances Following inspection and testing activities Deviations from integrity operating windows Physical or mechanical damage Changes in conditions Periodically to evaluate effects of subtle or process creep Physical alterations to equipment New knowledge and experience of damage mechanisms Or other parameters that could affect the equipment integrity or reliability Availability of new inspection, testing and monitoring data Limitations of existing inspection and testing techniques based on new information Recommendation from a fitness for service analysis When the process goes outside the limits of the integrity operating window for the pressure vessels Predefined actions should be are taken Risk-based inspection RBI. RBI can be used to determine inspection intervals and the type and extent of future inspection examinations. An RBI assessment determines risk by combining the probability and the consequence of equipment failure. When an owner user chooses to conduct an RBI assessment, it should include a systematic evaluation of both the probability of failure and the consequence of failure in accordance with API RP 580. API RP 581 details an RBI methodology that has all of the key elements defined in API RP 580. Review questions Question number one Which of the following is not a part of an inspection plan? Answer is D Question number two. The inspector selects appropriate NDE methods for an inspection. What is the most important factor to consider when determining which NDE methods to use? Answer is A. Question number three. Integrity operating windows IOWs, should be established for all vessels in accordance with. Answer is B. Question number four. Pressure vessel inspection intervals should be reviewed after. Answer is C. Question number five. 
what should happen when the operating conditions of a vessel go outside the limits of the IOWs. Answer is A. Question number 6. The two primary factors of risk are Answer is A. Question number 7. Who chooses to use RBI methodologies? Answer is D. Question number 8. Which document provides guidance on performing RBI assessments? Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. <laughs>